The Russian defense industry has successfully completed the design and production of the amphibious armored troop transport BT-3F, specifically designed for marine units and joint forces. This achievement was announced by the press service of the Precision Complexes Group, which is part of the state-owned company Rostec. The collaboration between Kurgamashevod and the joint stock company SKBM has resulted in the success of the initiative research and development project for the Armored Troop Transport BT-3F. The BT-3F is a joint creation of Russia and Indonesia, and this versatile armored troop transport is designed to provide both mobility and firepower while ensuring the safety of its crew and occupants. The BT-3F is equipped with a remotely operated weapon station armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. In addition to that, it is equipped with a second 7.62mm machine gun. This firepower provides effective coverage against enemy threats. The amphibious vehicle is equipped with various accessories such as thermal imaging night vision devices, a laser rangefinder, and various targeting systems. The BT-3F also features an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection system, ensuring the crew's safety against environmental threats. The armor of the BT-3F is designed to withstand small arms fire and artillery shell splinters, providing an essential level of security on the battlefield. Weighing 18,500 kilograms, the vehicle is both robust and mobile, capable of reaching a top speed of 70 km per hour and having a range of 600 km. The BT-3F is ready to cover long distances, carrying up to 15 individuals at once, 2 crew members and 13 passengers. Its compact dimensions, length, 7.0 meters, width, 3.30 meters, height, 3.0 meters, allow it to maneuver in various terrains while being discreet enough to navigate complex environments. The production of the initial prototype had already been completed, with successful tests conducted at the end of 2022. The completion of the design and production of the BT-3F is good news for the Russian military, which needs to replace a significant number of vehicles destroyed or captured by Ukrainians. The next challenge of the conflict will likely be the ability of both parties to replace and repair their respective equipment, and Russia seems to maintain a lead in this area over Ukraine, transitioning more towards a wartime economy. The reaction of Ukrainians remains to be seen.